vegans would, vegans would argue back, like, well, they don't really have feelings. They're not real. Listen, if there's a nervous system and it can feel pain, broccoli, if it can feel pain, then it can feel you breaking it off and fucking harvesting it. Okay. All right. What's up, guys? So today we're going to respond to BioS3 training and his critique on veganism. He uh, ended up making a video basically claiming that vegans are hypocrites. So let's get right into it. All right, just to start, I do want to say I do enjoy BioS3's videos. I've been watching him for a long time, probably around like five years or so. He's very straightforward with his fitness advice. I agree with a lot of his methods, um, not really with nutrition, but that's a whole other topic. So yeah, basically he made a video um, claiming vegans are hypocrites. It's the classic um, plants have feelings argument. He makes a claim in the video that broccoli has an established nervous system and uh, therefore vegans are hypocrites for eating it and a bunch of other things along the lines of plants having feelings, therefore vegans are hypocrites and the classic, you know, conflation of life and sentient life that non-vegans like to make in an effort to justify their consumption of animals and try to make vegans look bad. So basically I'm just going to play a couple clips from his video and then I'll go more into depth with his arguments and why they're not actually valid. Now here's my argument. You guys are going to see the title up here and I think it's going to be something to do with vegans. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, but vegans are the first ones to talk about Animals are living things. They're the same as us, et cetera, et cetera. You should only be plant. Plant-based this, vegan this, vegan that. Now, I love arguing with vegans because scientists who they listen to have proven that broccoli has a nervous system and it can feel pain. They have proven over and over again, the more positive you are to a plant, the brighter it grows, the bigger it grows, the healthier it is, the more negative you are to it, it wilters. Play certain music, it perks up. You play other music, it, it wilters, right? These things that have feelings and emotions, these living things, plants are living, right? There's no denying it. These living things that have feelings and emotions, then they harvest it. How the fuck is that different than killing a fucking animal and eating it? Well, animals are aware. So are these plants, right? If you fucking believe that plants have feelings and emotions, how the fuck are you eating those but you won't eat a goddamn fucking cheeseburger? Right. OK, so, yeah, as you can see, he's really just doing the classic conflation here. There's a lot of people that think that because plants respond to stimulus in the environment, that they are therefore sentient or aware in the same way that pigs are or humans are. But the thing is that all this is is response to stimulus. OK, in the same way that you can program computers to respond to certain things. It's kind of the same thing when it comes to plants. These things don't mean that computers are feeling or like having a subjective experience in the way that humans do or or cows or pigs or chickens, right? They are just responding. It's called intelligence. And any thought that plants have um, actual feelings is considered pseudoscience in the actual scientific consensus and scientific community. And, you know, this argument, I don't know, it's kind of annoying because we, vegans have to hear it literally all the fucking time. And I get it. When I was not vegan, it would be very convenient for me to find out that all life was sentient because that would mean that vegans are hypocrites and I had no moral obligation to go vegan and that it'd be hypocritical either way to eat anything because all life would therefore be sentient, right? But the thing is that there is no actual evidence suggesting that plants are sentient. They don't have a central nervous system. This is one of the objective criteria for what it means to be sentient. Now, there are possibilities of creating sentient AI in the future because we know that matter does give rise to consciousness in some fashion, but that's a whole nother discussion. So again, uh, Jerry, I understand where you're coming from with the argument you're trying to make, but the thing is that plant life and animal life are not equal in that they both have a subjective capacity for experience, right? They just simply don't. When you rip a sweet potato out of, out of the ground or something like that, there is no actual capacity for the plant to feel that it's being harmed, right? That's just, that's just not the case. Now, when you stab a cow in the throat, it's clearly going to be hurt. Now, this, this is more of just a, a face value take on like what happens when you stab a cow or when you rip something from the ground like a plant. But we can also get into the actual science of it and realize that again, yeah, like the reason that the cow screams when it gets stabbed in the throat is because it actually feels it. It feels the pain. It has a central nervous system, right? So this is just kind of basic stuff, but I do have to run through it because you're making these claims. Now, you didn't actually provide a source for the broccoli study you were talking about where broccoli had apparently um, a nervous system or and, and you didn't say it was a central nervous system. So I don't know if there's a distinction there for you. But yeah, I would definitely like to see the study again. This whole like plants 
have feelings thing. It's, I don't know. I'm just being honest, Jerry. I think you're a really smart guy. And like, I want to let you know that this is a literal meme in the vegan community. And I know I'm a vegan coming out telling you this. So I want you to take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt and look into this yourself and look up what the actual objective criteria is for sentience. Because I can promise you that according to actual scientists, not vegan scientists, just actual biologists and scientists that have no interest in the vegan agenda, all agree that plants do not have a central nervous system. They do not possess sentience, at least to our knowledge at the moment. And therefore, vegans are not hypocrites for consuming plants. Again, I get it. It'd be great to find a a hole in the vegan logic to make yourself feel better about paying for animals to be killed. But in the end, the whole plants have feelings thing, it just isn't valid. So that's just what it is. So Jerry, I hope you somehow see this video and uh, maybe consider realizing that vegans actually aren't hypocrites in consuming plants because again there is no capacity to suffer within plants okay and them responding to music and the environment and all these kinds of things aren't evidence of them having a subjective experience they're just evidence that they can respond to stimulus right biomechanically automatic reactions things like that so all right guys that's the end of the video um if there's anyone else on youtube you've seen that has made a video kind of claiming that vegans are hypocrites or anything like that please let me know thank you so much thanks for watching comment subscribe like click the bell notification button to see the next video that i'm coming out with and i'll see you next time